Hi everyone, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to unbox my purchase from Louis Vuitton. So if you're interested, let's get started. I thought maybe I will touch up on how I decided to get this in the first place. This was not an overnight decision. This is really my dream bag. I always had my eye on this. I had taken some time to thoroughly think it through. If I wanted a style, the price, and if it caters to my needs with the dual purpose of using it daily or occasionally. When I want something, I wanted to experience the process of dreaming for it. Even if I have the money, there is a magical feeling about saving up, researching, checking out reviews, and analyzing the pros and cons. Thanks to the YouTubers who are doing these reviews. The anticipation of buying it myself and getting it is a part of the journey. To some people, it is just a bag. To me, it is my trophy of working hard and a milestone of achievement. Now, let's take it out from this beautiful orange box with blue ribbon that also has this Louis Vuitton print. It comes with a receipt here with your CA's business card. The box comes with magnetic locking flaps. And contrary to popular belief, the box is foldable so it is easier for you to log on the plane when you buy the bag from Paris. I feel sad that some tourists throw this away not knowing they can actually fold it and use it again. Now let's open. Here it is. Protected by this fine cotton dust bag with a conical Louis Vuitton front. It came with this gift tag card so you can write on it if you're planning to gift the bag or you can write down important diary notes about the milestone. This is just my own preference and idea. Along with this is a little card information that it is made from a fine leather. I'll just keep them together and put them aside together with the bags for now. And now the iconic beauty of the Damia Eben Alma BB. We'll start here with the key bell of the bag, focusing. The Louis Vuitton logo is well embossed on this fine leather. It looks shiny, smooth, but sturdy. On the opposite side, you will see my initials, hat stamped in gold. The handle of the bag is very soft yet feels durable. I don't see any imperfections and the glazing looks excellent. You can see there that the stitching technique is very precise and carefully measured. Stitches are flawless, no loose threads. It feels silky, very smooth to touch. These are the iconic gold zippers that complements the Damir Eben canvas. Both zippers have LV logos stamped both sides. This bag is really secure for travel. Align the zippers and attach the padlock and it's now secure. I'm still inspecting the leather and so far I haven't seen any imperfections or dents. I heard that some people have complained on the forums that their bags have dents on because it was taken from the display. I'm not sure how true is that but they usually sell you the ones fresh from the box and not from the display floor. I like how they placed these protective gold studs at the bottom to keep the leather from touching the surfaces and it really minimizes scratches and keeps the bottom clean when placing it on tables or chairs. Each golden studs have LV logos on them. 
On one side of the bag, there is an embossed print on the leather that says Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. These subtle little shiny golden pieces complete the whole look of the bag. Tiny details such as logos on them are great details. To me, the way how I differentiate where the front and back side of the bag is when you will see the double stitches like here. The stitching starts and ends at the same place. Before we will open, the bag comes with a removable leather strap and these are what it is for. Attach the end of the strap here and the other on the other side. As you can see, the metal is a bit flat, slim, and pointy on the top. Let's open and see what's inside. It is a double zip opening. The zipper glides smoothly, yet it feels tight and secure. There is just enough bite as you zip it. It has this small pouch for the key, but I use it to store my padlock. This padlock is so cool as it finished in metallic gold and it is heavy. One side of the padlock has this embossed with complete printing Louis Vuitton Paris and in close-up looks like this. And the other side is a different one and it is their iconic LV logo. The V is always higher than the L. It comes with a serial number as a proof of authenticity. I will hide mine to protect it. So for now, I will put them all back in one place for safekeeping. Here's the strap. It is non-adjustable. The strap links to your bag with a swiveling D-ring clasp. Each side of the hooks have, again, its logo perfectly embossed in the center. Let's try to attach it on the bag. It can be worn across the body for hands-free ease, but I prefer to carry it instead. It has a sari bordeaux lining. Inside, there's only one interior flat pocket, and as you can see, there is no tags or any leather trademark stamps. And over here, you can find the serial number of the bag. And that's pretty much it inside the Alma BB. <laughs> Maybe I will make a separate video on how it looks like on me when it is used as a crossbody bag or handbag so you guys can visually calculate the size of the bag if you're considering to buy one. We will now try the padlock for you guys and see how we can lock the bag in two ways. One is like this, and the other one is like this.
I prefer not to leave the padlock hanging outside because I can see that in the future it will become heavily scratched and scratches diminish the golden shine. I'll just use the padlock when I'm lugging the bag while traveling or having something important. Over a year ago, I was ready to buy this bag. I went to multiple LV stores and it seems that this iconic handbag is hard to find or is always sold out. There are other designs available but not this specific one. On the stores I've been, there was none even on display. The waiting time for ordering, it also varies. Some can get it in weeks time, some will have to wait. So I didn't get it last year because the wait time is quite long and I thought it wasn't the right time to buy and it wasn't for me. So happy that I finally got it. I hope you guys find this video informational. I want to bring this video out because honestly I wanted to give it back to the people who are really interested about this iconic product of an iconic brand. I want to help you make a proper informed decision before you purchase. So that's basically it guys. I will leave you a quote. Remember that the most valuable currency is time. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. See you! So, so, so.